So we're continuing from our previous music podcast, the video number 13, this is part 2. So we're working on the groove. So I have my two in instances of music station here, the first one, the second one. I can rename by right clicking, I'm going to rename it by groove and lead. And my second one, I'm going to rename to for drum sounds. So on my first instance, I have here the groove sequencer. On the second one, I have, I'm using two layers. Layer one for the kick sound, layer two for the hi-hat sound. I can go play here. add yet another one I'm going to use mid channel 4 and again mid output so I can do a open hi-hat sound here let me check so I'm using mid channel 1 here I have to select mid channel 2 here and on layer 3 I'm going to load again the analog noise and select mid channel 3 yeah, channel 4, here is 3 actually. So, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3. And here I select channel 3. And I'm going to do the hi-hat sound again. Let me play. I'm going to use the filter. this pattern. I'm going to copy this pattern, go to the second pattern, paste my pattern and I'm going to transpose three notes up and I'm going to create a quick song, song here with two patterns and I'm just going to click here and hold it move up so it repeats two times And if I click on the end, I can hold and move up to make it loop. So this is a pretty simple groove that I've created. add uh, some snare sounds now. I'm going to use MIDI channel 4, MIDI output enabled. I'm going to do this on both patterns. I can use my mouse wheel to draw some different steps. And I'm going to go to my second layer again, add another noise, and this time I'm going to use pink noise and do some band limiting here with my filter. <laughs> Channel 4, mid output enabled. I'm going to continue on the next video because we have run out of time for this one.